Every time it's been for the same period of time. If that happened to Forzen, he'd be... Twitch would not only ban Forzen, they would find a way to send him to the moon in real life. They would ban him from Earth. Let's be honest. Why is it that this person gets multiple three-day suspensions over and over and over, but other people get perma-banned? Especially whenever it's the same exact stuff. On top of that, then she goes and makes a tweet and says that she's going to stream on OnlyFans, which is a violation of the partner contra contract, by the way. Here's what Twitch is doing. Here's, here's what I think is happening. I think Twitch is actually indirectly creating a lot of anti, like, anti-women uh, sentiment. I, I really think that they are, by not treating this fairly. I think anybody would see that the way that she's been acting, and the way that other people have been acting, and see what the difference in the punishments is, and it's very clear that something is not right. It, it, it's very clear. The reason why they need to do something about it is that every single other person sees that, and it creates this discontent. And that's why I think that unfairness is so, it's so insidious, it's so subversive, that it infects the entire population, even when over, when it, whenever it only affects a small amount of the population. Because it creates a narrative that some people can get away with stuff and other people can't. And I think everybody should be treated fairly. And I think everybody knows that if somebody, anybody else had received four bans in that period of time, they'd been off the platform in a second. Especially if they went and they immediately broke the partner contract after it. What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering, and uh, I hope you're having a wonderful Thursday. Huge shout out to those who have joined me on Telegram. I'll leave the link in the pinned comment down below. We've got a nice little community of about 4,000 people there right now. Spots are limited, but it's absolutely fun. I love it way more than Twitter and even Parler, and it's just I'm interacting directly with everyone. I just shared like a... Uh, uh, a friends only type video on there not like spicy but um obviously uh and of course uh telegram is secure it can be anonymous if you so so choose so uh join me uh in my community there uh screw twitter and parlor and facebook and everything else right now so anyway uh i've long pointed out and i want to i want to point out this here i've long been an advocate for just letting it all fly on twitch just let it all uh, happen. Just create a category for those people that want to sell their bodies um, and just be done with it. I believe I know why Twitch doesn't, and I'll get into that in a minute, but, you know, I've pointed out that I do have a problem with uh, the uh, Twitch to OnlyFans funnel. That is very obviously a thing, um, and it's it's a problem. You know, hey, oh, look at me. I'm playing video games just like you. Want to see me take my top off? Just go to my OnlyFans. I don't like that. It's predatory. Um, but I understand I'm not going to stop that. And I don't think Twitch cares to stop that. Uh, so you might as well allow everything. In fact, all of these people who like to toe the line, um, just put them in their own section. Like, uh, or, you know, have a... A section for just spicy content just be done with it uh, i think that twitch actually knows this they know that they could just allow it all right and put it in under like a, a section for uh, people who are of age uh, but they know that the meta is actually more profitable because uh 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 what's uh how do i what's the word for this engineering young females um, figure out a new meta, you know, first it was writing names on your bodies. Now it's the tubs. Now it's the tub streams. All of it is cringe to my, in my opinion, but really, is it the person who's doing the stream? No, it's not. It's actually the viewers, the ones that are paying for it that I, that I feel the worst for, um, you know, ultimately this is money they could spend bettering themselves finding a partner who will love them as opposed to someone who just takes their monies to float around in a pool. But again, it's your money. It's uh, not my position to uh, tell people what to do with it. But uh, Asmongold, 
actually blasted Twitch for creating anti-woman sentiment after a popular uh, tub streamer was banned for the platform yes, again, yet again. And I 100% agree with that. He, on April 7th, this particular streamer, who I'm not going to give clout to, was banned for a fourth time, according to an email she received. Twitch suspended her for three days for selling or attempting to sell Twitch services or features. Esmongold saw this news and addressed it on his own stream, commenting that it's unfair that other streamers would be more severely punished if they broke the rules as much as she does. Quote, if this happened to Forsen, Twitch would not only ban Forsen, they would find a way to send him to the moon in real life, the World of Warcraft streamer joked. They would ban him from Earth. Forsen, of course, was hit with a, quote, indefinite Twitch ban near the end of 2020 after he accidentally showed something during a broadcast. Luckily, after about a month, his channel was finally reinstated, but only after the Swede and his viewers sparked massive backlash. Quote, let's be honest. Why is it that this person gets multiple three-day suspensions over and over and over, Asmongold asked, but when other, but other people get permabanned, especially when it's for the exact same stuff? Their previous bans were reportedly for all pushing the boundaries, let's just say. He goes on to write, I think, or say, Twitch is actually indirectly fermenting and creating a lot of anti-woman sentiment. I think that they are, uh, by not treating this fairly, he explained. I think everyone would like to see, would, I'm sorry, think anybody would see that by the way she's acting, the way other people have been acting, what the difference in the punishment is. It's very clear that something is not right. What he's pointing out here is that, when a female streamer is perceived to get a lighter sentence for a similar crime, for example, uh, it creates a lot of anger. And he's right. It does. I don't know what it is about Silicon Valley. Well, I, I actually do. But I don't know why it, these people just don't evenly enforce bans. It would be, this is something I've talked about, you know, when I moved to Parlor originally, when it had a, uh, a bright future, um, it's like, man, it sure is nice to be on a platform that doesn't shadow ban me. I mean, it would just, it would just be nice. I'm not even asking for like no rules anarchy. I'm saying, like, can a brother get on a platform that that like doesn't selectively enforce their rules? What, like, why is this the ask in current year? I don't understand why it's so unreasonable to expect Twitch mods to evenly enforce the rules. I don't care how big or how small a creator is. Here's a perfect example in my meeting with YouTube. They told me in no uncertain terms that big creators are not allowed to you know, criticize smaller creators. Essentially, essentially is what they said. It's a bad look. It creates a lot of stress for small creators, which I understand. Um, but at the end of the day, even if I'm following YouTube's terms of service, I'm not allowed to do it. It creates a problem. Um, and, 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 and that's not fair. And it, what does it do? It makes me hate that particular creator. You all know who I'm talking about. They said something absolutely vile. And just because they're a quote unquote small creator, now they're certified on Twitter. Or they, it's not like they have no clout um, or verified, certified, who cares? Um, but I'm still not allowed to criticize them because I'm a larger creator. That's baloney sausage. That's that's a double standard in the rules. And what does it do? It creates a huge group of my viewers that extra dislike that person. Uh, and when Twitch does this, we all know what it is. What is the what is the thing, right? Everybody agrees. You know, the the Twitch uh, females, the ones that choose to dress provocatively, welcome. They're completely welcome to, of course. We know, at least the common knowledge is that they live by a different set of rules. Now, I know Asmin did date a, uh, a streamer that was, uh, how do I say, very spicy. And I know he has a, he's going to have a soft spot for this. People have pointed that out. But that doesn't really matter. He's still right uh, about this. I, I used to look at these type of streamers and think like, oh, God, you know, like, what has Twitch become? But, you know, I've been on YouTube for many years now, and my opinion has changed and reformulated over that time. And now I just don't care anymore. Just let it all on there. But I think they're not letting it all on there because it's more profitable. It's more interesting to watch the meta develop and then 
create new stars and it's more profitable for Amazon and Twitch to do that. Let's be honest. We can look at a lot of very popular people who create these uh, accounts to share spicy photos. And then once they go like full, full Monty, it changes things for a lot of people. Once you dispel like that, like if there's just going to be somebody on Twitch, just like blasting finger blasting away, like, is that going to, what will that do to the interest in the ones that don't do that kind of thing? Um, or once a creator decides to take that extra step and go like full balloon knot on camera, um, are they really a Twitch creator anymore? Are they, are they, I mean, yes, I suppose. Um, I don't know what the, for example, laws are around allowing this type of content on your platform. Certainly Amazon has all of the uh, possible money to, to, to figure that out and back it. But I actually think that Twitch makes significantly more money by allowing the meta to exist. Um, he went on to claim that or allege that Twitch's actions were creating a narrative that some people can't get away with while some people can get away with things and others can't. That's just a fact. That's not an allegation. I mean, anybody knows that. Uh, quote, I think everyone should be treated fairly. God, it's so sad that that's like a hot take now. I think everyone knows that if anybody else had received four bans in that period of time, they'd be off the platform in a second. He's 100% right. He also goes on. He also says that she promoted a stream on her uh, her OnlyFans account, which is against Twitch partner rules. So, like, certainly, I don't think that Asmongold is, like, advocating for her particular ban. I think he's pointing out that she should be banned on an even playing field. Uh, and what it really does, and what he's 100% right about, is this creates this, like, anti-female sentiment on Twitch. And it also, I've talked about this before, too, this tub meta is really annoying for females who don't want to do that kind of stuff. And then they have women, or dudes, thirsty dudes showing up in their chat, demanding it, and pressuring them. This creates a whole kind of other sleazy business. You know, there's absolutely... No denying that there are women, female streamers who really have no interest in doing this. They may have the appropriate assets to do so. Um, and now they're going to feel pressure to do it. They're going to get pressured by their viewers. They're going to get donos that are like, when are you going to do this? When are you going to do that? And that is unfortunate. I feel for the female streamers that just you know want to stream video games or maybe some DIY or whatever it is that they're into. IRL streaming and not be constantly asked by thirsty boys to get in a hot tub. Uh, but that's the meta now. That's what Twitch wants. Uh, they want the spicy meta change. They want the next new hot thing. They don't want to just outright do what they should do is just create a section for this type of content. That would be less profitable, I'm sure. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.